This is part two of the dead time um, measurement and calculations uh, for the injector using your micro squirt. Um, okay, and what you're seeing now in this is you're seeing all the data, the tr including the trend lines for um, the red. The red is for your your 17.7 volts. <clears throat> the blue is for 12.7 volts, and it made it real convenient doing these tests at those two voltages because that's exactly one volt apart from each other, or really close. I mean, there might be a small amount of variance, but I think I'm getting pretty uh, about as technical as I can get uh, without having all the fancy equipment. But so basically, right down here, you know, where the line, the trend line intersects the pulse width axis the x-axis is your um, your dead time so I took a ruler and literally just set a ruler up here and and found my exact halfway mark in between in between 0 and 0.5 which is the point uh, point 0.250 and then I found the half of that one then I found which is the, the halfway between the the quarter and the half mark is 0.375 and so on and so forth and it just so happened the red line if I can zoom in here just about perfect lined up with the, the short little line right about right there uh, so it made it pretty simple and the blue line is right in the middle of both those focus in there there we go so it made it pretty convenient. I, I think this is fairly accurate. Um, I'm happy with it. I mean, that's probably uh, more than what most people will do. The blue line, dead, line, dead time at 12.7 at volts is there. And the red at 11.7 is there. So basically, now I can calculate the battery voltage correction. So I had one volt in between the two measurements. One volt. Uh, so basically all I need to do is subtract those two numbers from each other and per volt this is how much milliseconds per volt of battery correction so we will input that to right there battery voltage correction and once we have the battery voltage correction figured we actually need to be able to put an input into the injector dead time in the mega squirt but it's requesting the 13.2 volts Okay, well we have 12.7 which conveniently enough is exactly half a volt less than. So here, here we're showing we need 13.2 so we have half volt correction. So we're going to take our 0 0.03125 milliseconds per volt. We're going to divide it in half or times it by 0.5. So this is, we're going to add that much to our 12.7 milliseconds our dead time and we're going to end up with a total of 0.296 round it up to 0.297 uh, milliseconds at 13.2 volts I'm fairly pleased with this and hopefully this can help you guys one way or another um, I'm not a guru when it comes to, to spreadsheets I remember doing some of it in high school and I had to teach myself basically how to set this thing up. And I don't know if I set it up perfect, but um, it, it, it worked. So, uh, yo, good luck.